guys, David Sherwak here, and today I'm back with the last MKO tutorial. I think this is MKO tutorial number five, and like I said, this is the last one, as MKO will be happening um, a couple days from when this is posted, so this is the last one. And in this one, we're going to be doing a trick from the Open Division trick list. Uh, this one is the one turn candlestick swap airplane, and this trick was suggested by David Skills. And here's an example of the trick. One turn, candlestick, swap airplane. Alright, so there was an example of the trick. So before you start this trick, I suggest that you know one turn swap spike. So if you know one turn swap spike, um, the first part of this trick will be relatively easy because um, the motion that you're doing is basically the same. So learn this trick right here. It's just a one turn swap, grab the Ken, and you spike it like that. And this is this will help with another uh, purpose of the trick later on that I'll talk about. So to start this trick, if you know one turn swap spike, all it is is that, but a little bit more. So spin the can a little bit more. Spin it basically like you're going to be doing a one turn airplane. So be comfortable with one turn airplane like that, because this is the amount of rotation that you're going to be doing. So spin it at one turn airplane. And when it's around this point right here, when it's flat and the big cup is facing up, um, that's when you're gonna throw the Tama. And this is where learning one turn swap spike comes in handy. So you're gonna throw the Tama, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna give it a little bit of spin so that when you throw it, make sure to catch the spike. I know it will be kind of hard, but catch the spike, make sure it's super clean. And when you throw the Tama, you're gonna give it a little bit of spin this way. And what's that? what that's gonna do is you're gonna catch the spike spot it and just land it in candlestick and obviously if you're doing this trick you should already know how to do just a normal candlestick so what's that that's going to do when you throw it with a little bit of rotation is it's going to land on the base cup like this with the string hole facing up and if you look the hole is facing the bottom straight into the base cup and what this does for me it definitely helps me um, be more consistent with the swap to airplane um, because what I do actually I'll just get into that right now um, so after this if you have the string hole facing up for me like I said it I found it a lot easier what you're gonna do next is you're gonna bend down and all in one motion you're gonna kind of let go of the candlestick grip give it a little bit of momentum forwards and as you're gonna do that the Ken and the Tom are gonna separate and it's at about this, I guess it would be at around this point, that's when you're going to grab the Tama out of the air. It's kind of hard to explain it in slow motion, but grab the Tama out in the air. And as you can see when I grab it, since the hole was facing the bottom, when I grab it, now it's going to be facing up, completely straight up. You're not going to have to spin it in any way. It's going to be facing straight up. And all you have to do after that is if you gave the can enough spin, watch the can come around, spot it, and spike it. So that was kind of a really quick way to explain it. So once more, I'm going to go through it. So you're going to pull up like a one turn airplane and then grab it in candlestick grip. Make sure to give the Tama a bit of rotation that way so that when you land it, the hole is facing down. So do that. As you can see, the hole is facing down right there. Um, it's not perfect, but it's, it's definitely going to help. And now, like I said, you're going to grab the Tama, spot it, and make sure you give the uh, the can enough rotation. And this part isn't really that hard. Just grab the can, make sure the can is doing enough rotation, and spike it. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, it's just these two parts. Definitely don't make sure to catch the cups because that won't be allowed. So definitely make sure to be really precise with your catch. Catch the spike. Make sure the hole is like this, and you know finish it off. You're not gonna get it every time, but. 
yeah that's it for this tutorial and that's it for these mko tutorials as well um, make sure to tell me down below if you guys have liked these mko tutorials um, i'm thinking i'm gonna go back to normal tutorials uh, next week i might be doing a new tu uh, new series soon because i've been do tu doing tutorials for a long time i think i've done around 30 tutorials plus these five mko tutorials so i've done a lot of them so i might be doing something new but for now just keep suggesting your tutorials down below and I'll make sure to go look at them. Um, and yeah, like I said, tell me if you guys have liked these MPO tutorials. Um, I've been doing stuff different with the thumbnails for these tutorials, just so I could do something different because the, the thumbnails I did for normal tutorials got kind of boring. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your suggestions for next week down below. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.